I'm Lainey Ashker, and today we're going to talk about the Cross Country Day at the Fork here at the Pro Tour Series, the, three, the CIC Three Star. Um, let's begin with Philip. Um, and Philip, I mean, obviously there were a ton of problems on the course today, and it was kind of scattered throughout all the questions. Uh, what, how did, how did Mystery Whisper feel, you know, in comparison to um, Red Hills, and how did you feel overall with his performance? Uh, he's, he's just fantastic today, so I'm so excited to have the ride on the horse, and uh, you know, it didn't push him too much, but um, he did it very easily, and uh, I think it was a great experience for him, and a good way for me to get to know him a little bit more. A new left to right earlier today, first ride, it does exactly yeah. the same that you know Will had had some problems and Michael had had some problems so you gave you a little bit more room to go a little slower on him. I know that you were, that was your plan to go a little slower than that right Yeah I mean I set out and got away from the jumps well and he doesn't get strong so I mean I can decide a little bit of time on the way. I didn't have any real problems with him at all. Okay. Um, what about Will? Was he Fantastic. Marilyn, I gotta say, I, this is the first time I've seen you ride live, and I was thoroughly impressed. I mean, you're so aggressive, and I mean, do you think that having ridden up in the Grand Prix jumpers, that that's helped you for the cross country, that kind of aggressive nature? Do you think that's that's given you, not an advantage, but kind of that, that sort of trait of wanting to ride aggressively, do you think that helps you in the, in the cross country? Um, I wouldn't say it's so much aggressively. I think it's more, I, I have a very strong respect for these jumps. They look large and imposing to me, but it's a constellation that I can put, put my horses where I want to in front of them in the way of the balance and the speed that I want to. So uh, having a really good course plan, it's, it's one, once I have the plan in place, executing it is, then that's my responsibility and I have a certain amount of confidence in that. So um, I'm able to, to get it done in some places that surprise me, um, but there's others that I also need to work on. Yeah, the jump into the water on, on Demeter today, really the first water is better than Red Hills, it needs to be better than Red Hills, so that's the gap that we're still going to work on. Uh, but then there was a lot of questions that I thought, you know, some of the right-handed corners that I uh, really need to pay attention here, and she handled them beautifully, so I was really, really pleased with her this week. But she handled a lot of the time questions great. Right and then you were saying how at Red Hills you weren't really able to to use or gallop, and this was kind of the first time you could really, you know, get on or not, I mean. Because of that, uh, you know, because of the nature of the course of Red Hills, it's hard to get a feel for the horse's speed and how well they're going to handle, how well you, it's going to be possible to make the time or not. Um, and what you need to do in terms of how how long do you need to keep going? Where can you afford to take a pull? Where, where can you let up just a little bit? Um, because this course was rolling and there was plenty of places to gallop, especially in the big beginning, super, um, to really let them settle in. I got to get a feeling of what it would be like to try to make the time on her. She did it so easily. Um, I was obviously trying to be close to the optimum, but she could have been quite a bit under. There's a whole other gear there, which I was happy to see. She was the same horse from start to finish, which was great. That's fantastic. Now, Rebecca, as Gordy likes to say, you and your old campaigner, um, I mean, you guys were just rocked around the course today, and, and you're probably one of the more experienced groups together as a team. How did you feel about Real Master's performance today? I was, I was thrilled. I mean, he was, he was, he was really good. It was a ton of, ton of fun out there, honestly, because um, I do know him quite well, but we haven't done a lot this season, and it was still fun to just go out there and kind of get right back into that gear. Um, so that was a, still a wonder if you are going to get right back into the gear. Uh, and certainly did right the beginning. Um, he actually felt a bit better than he did last year. He was stronger, just in his body. Um, um, he galloped really well. I was planning on going and giving him a good gallop um, and being close to the time, but honestly it just kind of came up on him. Um, so uh, out of rhythm and out of stride, um, which was just it was a softer feeling that he's given me um, the last, you know, last couple of years. Sure. So yeah. that was that was nice. It just felt easier for him. Well, and Karen had brought up a good point in the press conference inside the lodge. Do you find that it's an advantage or a disadvantage? Have 
being based here at the fort. Oh, it's certainly no advantage. <laughs> I don't think it's an advantage at all. I'm, honestly, the hardest part is moving him up to this table. Sure. <laughs> totally, that hack down, I, I, I'm sure everybody has problems with that hack down, but um, he was very much confused as to why he's up there. Um, and uh, no, definitely hacking around the property is harder than actually being on a course, because there's some things that certainly weren't there a week ago. Um, and then as a rider, just getting into the switching from your, nor you know, you're at your home, you're at your work day, so switching from your work day to competing, sure. um, so we had to make, a, or I did, have to make a conscious shift, really, too, in terms of making sure I knew the course um, in terms of how to ride it, not just how to prepare, how to get it ready to... Certainly. Uh, and what are your plans leading up to the games, up to London with him? Um, he's going to go on and do the CSC at Jersey, and uh, again the CSC at Fantastic. And, and how do you guys feel about show jumping tomorrow? Are you, are you guys on pretty good show jumping horses? I mean, how do you, you know, what, what's your biggest thing for the mile that you're going to focus on? Well, the one behind me here is pretty good show jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> No, really, I am. I've never been such a tired horse in my life. <laughs> it's, it's not a fun day. I'm glad when it's all over. Sure. Well, Marilyn, and you were saying earlier, you were saying how it's almost more pressure on you being that, this, that you come from that world. It, you know, explain how you feel about that. was off the record. <laughs> no. Um, well, well, it's interesting, it, you know. It is. I feel uh, Sunday's hard for me because I've ridden, you know, my job is to ride a lot of green horses, help them get into the Grand Prix. It's a sales business. Uh, you're marketing. You want them to make them. You want to make them look the best they can. And now I'm looking at very much from a competition point of view. Um, obviously, I want her to look great. I want her to be comfortable, have a nice round. I'm still developing a partnership, but at the same time, I feel a lot of pressure. Like I'm supposed to do it right, and you know things go wrong. I mean. I think Philip is supposed to do it right out there, but it's not to say that every single round, I mean, there must have been one at least, at some one point, one, where it, one, there might be one that he could one think of, bad, but one. everything just didn't go to plan, and that, you know, it, Is it like, um, I was trying to, I was thinking about this, is it like riding after a, you go on a speed class, like getting the horse to, to jump well the next time, is that? You know what, after, if we have a speed class on a Friday, and I'm going to, I think, gosh, that really went well. I wasn't planning on the Grand Prix on Sunday, but maybe I will. So I can pull it out on Saturday. Do a little combination. Do something, right. an exercise to, to put it back in shape, to put it back in a little thinking, to prepare its footwork, slowly through the air. But this horse tomorrow is tired. It doesn't want to go out there and jump into nothing. It's like, please, no, give me carrots. It's not a job. Not a help. So, um, so it, I, I, I'm learning, too, how to how to prepare them the best. And I, my preparation has been approach to this. The way that I've been schooling cross country and schooling the show jumping from all the tales of cross country at home, uh, I think has helped me and I've developed a strategy and a program that I hopefully will see some really great results from it because I'm also prepared because she's joining me on this too. So. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Well, it's working for Karen. She's had great rods today. So, 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 so <laughs> Well, tomorrow we start with the jogs at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, and also I want to add that, Rebecca, you won the SSG. Yay, uh, go low you. for Joe's $500. So she's going to take us off for drinks tonight. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Big Town, Norwood. In, in Norwood, yeah. We're going to go to Milano's and right. hit it up. Um, but I want to wish you guys the best of luck for tomorrow. Have sound horses and fingers crossed for clear rounds tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> I'm Samantha Clark and I'm here with Philip Dutton, the winner of the CIC three star at the fort. Uh, Philip, second CIC three star win in a month with Mystery Whisper, your horse who came over from Australia. When was it? December? Yeah, it just got here in December, so it's really exciting and uh, you know, uh, we're still getting to know each other, but he's an incredible horse and I feel pretty privileged to get the ride on him. You said at the beginning of the week that you actually weren't going to be competitive, but um, you're, you're standing here on the winner's podium. Yeah, well, that's the way the competition uh, panned out. I mean, I didn't try to go too fast on the cross country, and uh, some of the other horses that were well up in the dressage had trouble on the cross country. So, as it turned out, after the you know the end of the day yesterday, he was still in the lead. So that was a, a bonus for me. And he's yet to make a mistake. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, he's uh, you know we're getting to know each other. Time for the lead out for the dressage on.
39.6, just four time penalties yesterday. He still holds the lead on 43.6. Philip Dutton, Mystery Whisper going for the win. education like Keith Ryan has brought the horse along and so um, all I'm doing now is just getting to know him and maybe putting a few finishing touches on the horse. And Rebecca to you had flawless rides, nice dressage, double clear finish on your score and moved up to second place by, by virtue of that good jumping up. This was a good run for him. I can uh, so just coast on in there now and do a few more gallops and uh, hopefully he'll keep this good form going. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. And now I'll head up to Jersey also for the CSU. So just uh, I'm doing one a month here through the summer. What is it like to be able to take advantage of these facilities every day? Oh, I'm spoiled, yeah. No, <laughs> totally spoiled. Um, it's beautiful. I mean, the horses have a great home start. They are happy. And the training facility is um, it's good. You know, it's super great. We've got the hills, the rings. Um, yeah. Do you both, well actually you say it, do you head home now, where do you go from here and then do you get a little bit of a downtime with the horses or? Uh, yeah, I'm heading back to Pennsylvania, I've been in Aiken, so I'll be in Pennsylvania now for the next couple of weeks, um, well now through the summer and uh, so it'll be good to be back at home with my whole family together, so, which it hasn't been for a while now. And then how many horses do you have at uh, This stage you've got two added. So, uh, and keep those two there. Right, well, we'll look forward to seeing you down the back. We wish you best of luck at Bromont. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.